now that we have the ideal gas law, which I don't have written down here, PV equals NRT, we can use this to help us with stoichiometry problems. So the stoichiometry problems, are, the heart of it is still going to be the same. So we're going to have moles of a compound. We'll multiply by the ratio of the coefficients to get moles of another compound in a balanced equation. Uh, but now with the hydro gas law, we can use the hydro gas law on either end of the equation. If we're starting off with it, then we're going to be solving for moles. If we're finishing up with it, we'll be solving for something else, pressure or volume. So let's do uh, two of these problems here. So if we have a carbon monoxide reacting with oxygen from carbon dioxide. Uh, we start off with 7.57 grams of carbon monoxide. The carbon dioxide is being collected at 0.97 atmospheres at 50 degrees Celsius. What is the volume that it will occupy? So we're going to start off using our stoichiometry to turn the mass of carbon dioxide into moles of carbon monoxide. So we set up the equation, we divide uh, the mass by its molar mass, multiply it by the stoichiometric ratio, and we get moles of carbon dioxide. Now we're going to use the ideal gas law to turn that into a volume. We, uh, hmm, we get the smudge here. We of course have to convert our Celsius into Kelvin, so we add 273, we get 323 Kelvin. Solve the equation for the volume, but in our moles, the gas constant and the temperature divided by the pressure in atmospheres, and we end up with a 7.4 liters of our gas. So we do our stoichiometry the same way, but in this case, we're finishing up using the ideal gas law to turn our moles into volume or pressure. We can start off with the gas law also. So this is the reaction that is used for airbags in our cars. Sodium azide decomposes very fast to form our a sodium metal and nitrogen gas, which fills up our airbag. So if we want to fill up air, a 70 liter airbag at 298 Kelvin, that's 25 Celsius, at 0.983 atmospheres, what mass of sodium azide do we need to charge that with? So in this case, we have all the information for our uh, nitrogen gas, but we have three of the properties. So we're going to solve that one for moles, and then after the Hydro gas law, we will do our stoichiometric calculations. So, we solve our ideal gas law for moles, putting our pressure in atmospheres, volume in liters, uh, temperature in Kelvin, and we end up with 3.135 moles of nitrogen. Now we do our stoichiometric ratio, turning our nitrogen into the sodium azide. So we're multiplying by the ratio of two sodium azide over three nitrogen, two over three. And we need 2.09 moles of sodium azide. We multiply that by the molar mass of sodium azide, and we see that we need 136 grams of sodium azide. 